Welcome to season one, episode two of Sippin' with Steven. And today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite things, tequila and Tampa. So let's hop on in and let's talk about what's happening in Tampa Bay. Hello everyone and welcome to episode two of Sippin' with Steven. Today we're gonna to be making the Tampa tequila cocktail. Um, one of my favorite things is tequila. I love Mexico. And my second favorite thing is, is Tampa. As you know, I am a Tampa native and there's nothing better than a spicy jalapeno cocktail. So today I'm starting off with um, just a regular rocks glass. You can spice it up and have a margarita glass if you're fancy, but I figured you'd get a little bit more cocktail in a rocks glass. So you just want to put some lime juice and you just want to douse the rim in it. And then here I have fresh lime zest. I have chili powder and salt. You just want to dabble in that. Look how beautiful and fresh this is. So one of my favorite things about Tampa is that I have seen the growth and change happen in Tampa and I specialize in relocation. So people that are moving here from all over the world to um, Tampa and COVID has really helped kind of fast forward that track of starting this supply and demand of Tampa real estate. So Bill Gates invested $3 billion into our city of Tampa and Channel Side, lo and behold, has turned into Water Street. And we are seeing a revival in our downtown. So I personally have called downtown home for the past several years um, before purchasing my home in October, but I love living in downtown and seeing the changes that have happened. So first off, in your shaker, you want to put in, um, half of a jalapeno, extract the seeds from it, pop it in there, and you just wanna muddle a little bit with a little bit of lime juice. And I just like my, a little bit of sugar. Um, so I have this organic agave sugar in the raw. You just kinda wanna put just a little bit in there. Uh, just eyeball it. Um, I used to bartend for several years and um, I never knew how, like if you asked me to write down a drink, I would probably, I would not know what to tell you. I just tell you just eyeball it until you feel like it's right. So just muddle that in there and move that in there. And then you just wanna pour um, about three ounces of tequila. And for me, I absolutely love this brand. I got this as a gift and I love it. It's a, it doesn't taste like a um, synthetic jalapeno flavor tequila. So um, if you definitely see this at Total Wine, pick it up. Um, so you also wanna add a little splash of triple sec. And you want to just add some fresh grapefruit. If you don't have fresh grapefruit, then just use the, um, the Simply grapefruit and just put a little bit in there. So, um, and then shake it all about. But, um, so Tampa, everyone that I'm seeing here is relocating from out of state. And what they're thinking of is when you look at Florida and you're thinking about moving to Florida, you look at Miami and the prices there are super crazy. You look at Sarasota, you look at Key West, you look at Orlando, and really Tampa's a hidden gem for people moving from all over the world. And we have such a diverse culture. Home values are fairly reasonable. We don't have state tax. We don't have snow. You're an hour to Disney and you have the beaches as your backyard. So what's there not to like people? So um, Tampa has really seen a growth spurt in the urban core and also on the outskirts. So places like I grew up in Wesley Chapel, I'm a graduate of Land Lakes High School, and that area has completely transformed. We have over 150 people moving to the Bay Area every single day, and it's for a very good reason. We're also seeing a steadily 
healthy growth in the real estate market as far as home sale prices go. Um, the average home sale is about 342 in the greater Tampa Bay area, which has been up from the high 200s over the past two years. And that's because we have a lot of new construction and we have a lot of luxury condos. So like I said, Bill Gates invested $3 billion into our downtown and things like the Addition Hotel and Residences have opened up. We have the Ritz Carlton Residences that are coming into town and we have really great suburban neighborhoods of the Crystal Lagoons like Epperson Ranch that are attracting people who want that waterfront lifestyle but also want the conveniences of living in suburban Tampa where you have this Crystal Lagoon. So go on my YouTube page, search Person Ranch. I did a video tour about it um, and it's on there in the archives of my YouTube page. So if you have questions about what a Crystal Lagoon is, there you have it. So um, here, now we put all of our ingredients in there. You just want to top in some ice and you just want to shake it up. I'm spilling this all over. This, I'm going to do this over the sink because I'm going to spray the entire kitchen. But um, shake it up. And even if you don't like spicy, you can substitute this for maybe watermelon if you're by the pool. Or you can do mango or strawberries if they're in season and pop it in there as well. Um, totally did not mean to put the whole entire jalapeno in there, but hey, when in Rome. Um, oh, that's really good. Oh, this is baller. You should totally make a Tampa tequila and post your comments on what you think um, about it once you make it at home. Let me know what your thoughts are and share. Um, if you like this video and you wanna share the recipe with a friend, make sure that you share this recipe as well and share about why you love Tampa. So thank you so much for joining me and talking about why I love Tampa, talking about the growth and the urban core and outside. If you have any questions about maybe moving to Tampa or if you know of someone who does, or if you just really love tequila, please comment, share what your favorite places are, why um, you picked Tampa to move to, and um, share with your friends. So I hope you guys all have a great day and stay tuned for episode three of Sippin' with Steven coming very soon. So take care and I will talk with you all very soon. Cheers.